YouTube, I'm not gonna lie to you, I have, I have a hickey on my neck because I'm a whore. Not because I'm a whore, because I fell down on someone's lips. I feel dirty because of it and I'm not proud. But I came home last night, hollered my dad, puked at my brother. My mum greeted me with, what's on your neck? And I was like, this? No, it's a lesion. I suffer from a horrible skin virus, flesh-eating disease that only affects my neck. So it's my graduation show on Friday. Coinky dink, it's also my birthday. Coinky dink's fun to say, why don't I say that more? So Rose, you like to specialise in short fiction and music video? And I'm gonna be like, no, I specialise in sex. <laughs> I have a dinosaur on my t-shirt and it's dot to dot. And what's cool is, it says, do you think he saw us on the back? <laughs> So I finished university forever, which means that you're gonna get a video every day for the next day. I have something to show you. This is my wand. It's beautiful. It chose me. Um, it's got a lovely end, pointy, good for rape defense, and I don't really know any spells yet, but Rosie's putting me through her version of wizard school, which I'm really enjoying a little too much. I like to think it's gorgeous. It's quite phallic shaped, but <laughs> that would, that would be wrong. It was actually a little awkward at the Harry Potter Museum because the curator, who was flamboyantly gay, asked Rosie and I to write a short little account of our experiences there. So, you know, I wrote great attraction, great family day out, um, fun for all ages, even for people sorted into Slytherin, down with the puffs. But then I had an OCD panic attack that he thought I was saying down with the puffs. And then I said to Rosie, let's go. I'm scared I've offended this guy. And she was like, what have you said? And I said, I said down with the puffs. And so we made a speedy exit. I'm at the point in my life where I'm not really sure what my next step's gonna be. A part of me still wants to be a park ranger like I always wanted to be when I was eight because I like the outdoors and I like the hat that they wear and I don't really think that they do much apart from range in the parks. Oh my God, the cows are chasing that guy. Do, don't run, that's the mistake I made. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Never run from a cow, they will chase you. I learned the hard way. I write a film review blog now. It's called roseonfilm.tumblr.com and um, my film reviews are very average. I'm not a critic. Um, I probably talk about myself more within the review than the actual film and the directors and the actors. But um, go over to roseonfilm.tumblr.com and go and check out my new review of Prometheus. So I've managed to go my entire degree without getting out an overdraft. And in my last two weeks of term, I decided to be crazy and get out a thousand pounds just because I wanted to do things with Rosie over the summer and I needed to fund my ladyboy business. That's not true. Um, so over the last two weeks, I've managed to spend 600 pounds. and I don't really know what on. Whores mostly, child support, an annulment. Yes, I've spent a lot of money, but one of the things I did spend my money on was a new iPhone. I had a 3GS and it became boring, so I went to CEX and got this second hand. It wasn't that second hand though, because it was a class A and it was in the box and the thing wasn't even pulled off the screen, so it's pretty much brand new. And I got it knocked down to £320 from £500. I realised that this is quite a boring story, so I'm going to tell it again. So I went to CEX and I got this iPhone and it was originally like 500 and then I got it knocked down to 320 and I was like, oh my god, that's such a bargain. And they were like, I know, right? And I was like, is this SIM card going to fit? And they were like, we can cut it to the right shape. And I was like, oh my god, you guys are so awesome. I don't really know what else I've got to say. Probably not. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, you're so skinny. Ha, <laughs> no, seriously though, you look great. <laughs> that was definitely a Mean Girls quote. Oh my god, you're so skinny. That's <laughs> so good. As my dissertation's been selected, did you get my Mean Girls quote? <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I'm gonna text her back because she's gonna worry that I didn't get it. 
but yes, graduation is going to be fantastic. I'm going to have my wand, I'm going to have my boobs, we're all going to be there. It's going to be great. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to graduate with a first class honours. If I don't, I'm, I'm going to make a video about it. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with getting a 2-1, that is not what I'm saying. But considering my sister went to Cambridge and got a 2-1, and my brother went everywhere and managed to scrape through on a 2-1, I want to get a first because I'm the youngest and I want to say that I am, in fact, the most intelligent and the most successful. <sighs> Both aren't true because my sister's such a high flyer and John's just around. But yeah, follow me on all the stuff that I do if you want to. Sometimes I post things that may be of some interest. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? I'll see you guys later, have fun. Those are big boobs. The TV's on, I'm not just randomly, I haven't got like boob Tourette's.